Boker Tov, my friends, good morning. I hope everyone is having a fantastic start to your week and that you've got just a ton of joy. Uh, houses hustle and bustle a little bit today because we are uh, getting ready for Hanukkah. Um, the kids are gathering the, uh, the Hanukkiahs and uh, setting things up, getting the candles ready, making sure we have oil. My wife went out and bought some oil for the Hanukkah last night. So anyway, all of that is kind of happening. And of course, we have... Um, Gotten a few gifts for the for each other to exchange, as is uh, has become somewhat traditional. And I just wanted to make sure that as you guys are thinking about Hanukkah, it's really important that the gifts are super duper secondary, thirdly, whatever, like the last thing on the list that you're thinking about. Um, what we really need to do is remember that the story of Hanukkah is a story of fighting against religious persecution, and. No matter what religion you are coming from or coming uh, out of or whatever or going to or what have you, we need to fight for religious freedoms. And that is one of the huge stories about Hanukkah. If you, if you really look at the history of Hanukkah, um, do, do some research. Uh, get, you know, get on the net and find uh, what really happened. And you know, it was a couple thousand years ago and the Greeks are marching upon the land, the Holy Land. And they're forcing a, like in, intense persecution upon the Jewish people just for being Jews. Um, they're demanding that we uh, get rid of all of our traditions or demanding that we get rid of uh, Torah laws. Like people are beat into submission um, as the Greeks are conquering the Holy Land. They're, they're banning the festivals. They're banning um, fasting. Uh, they're banning feasts. Um, they go up on the altar, God forbid, and burn non-kosher um, animals. Um, the high priest at that time uh, kind of bought his way in. It was super corrupt. Um, if they found that a circumcision was performed, an eighth-day circumcision as is commanded by Hashem, then not only would they kill the child, but they would kill the mother along with the son. And, uh, of course, keeping kosher and keeping Shabbat and all of that was grounds for uh, for being killed right there on the spot. Um, if you research some of the religious persecution of other times, you find that uh, Jews are forced to eat um, bacon as part of their proof um, that they have come out of that. And, and in the story of Hanukkah, that's another huge one, is that um, Jews were forced to eat bacon. They're forced to bow down to various idols that are set up um, throughout the towns. Lots of uh, lots of people just submitted, obviously, they, you know, we're trying to keep our lives, and some people fought back, and that's where we get the story of the Maccabees. So um, anyway, I want you, wanted you to just kind of have a little bit of uh, background into what Hanukkah is really about. It's not just lighting candles and giving gifts, although um, having those traditions in our family make, make the uh, holiday super, super special, and we always look forward to celebrating that with family and friends, and those are the good times that we smile about. But we have to remember what really took place and why we have it. And in the miracle of the Creator taking care of the few over the oppression of the many. I want you guys to have a fantastic week. Um, if you're lighting Hanukkah candles, tonight is number one. And may you have a super duper blessed Hanukkah and a fantastic week. Uh, may this Hanukkah bring you tons of miracles and that you see redemption in every area of your life.